my name is Alex Dore, and I will be making my first video today in a series of clarinet tutorials. Now, don't bother him, that is my brother. What is this? And he's too lazy to go do his own thing. Yes, I am. Okay, so today we are going to be learning a few basic things. How to put your instrument together, and also the first few notes I learned on my clarinet. So the first part of your instrument you're going to want to put together is this. As you can see, you have what is known as the lower joint. You can tell by those side keys right here, and then you have the bell. Place the cork right here and put it in. If you cannot get your instrument together, recommend I recommend using cork grease on your cork and it helps slide it in, okay? Next, set this down, don't worry about it. Don't bother him, that's a metronome. I'll talk to you about it later. Right now, I'm gonna show you how to put on your reed. Now a reed can be any strength, but I recommend using for beginners a 2.5, I believe is what I'm using. But um, how to use it, first, take a new reed, Put it in your mouth, and the more saliva it has, the better it'll sound later in the future. You gotta break it in. Next, you're gonna take your mouthpiece. Comes with a ligature, and if it doesn't, you should get your own ligature. You're gonna go to the side with the hole in it, as you can see here, and you are going to slide the reed into behind the ligature, and once it is perfectly aligned to where you can see a tiny bit of reed on the back and a tiny bit of uh, black on the front. Alex, shouldn't you explain what a ligature is? I did. Okay. Like this, you're perfectly good to go. Make sure it's tight though, or else your reed's gonna come flying out. Next, make sure to attach your reed to this. This is called the barrel. Place it right there on the smaller joint, the smaller section, the smaller opening of the barrel, and you will have it perfectly together. Simple, right? Next, you've got the upper joint. It has the four keys right here. Go to the top with this key right here, which is the back, and this key here, which is the front, and take your reed and barrel and stick it on top. Slowly bring it down and make sure the reed aligns perfectly to that back piece key that I showed you. I will show you in a moment once I can get it aligned. Okay, just like that. Straight under. Now you're almost done. You gotta connect your bottom and your top together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your middle finger right here and you're gonna press it to this bottom piece here and hold it there. It opens a key, a little section right here. As you can see, it raises. We need that raise to put together our instrument. Next, you'll take the lower joint and slide it on top, making sure it's perfectly aligned with this piece right here. Let me put that together and I'll show you what it looks like. Voila! As you can see, right here, your instrument has been put together and you are ready to play. Now, before you can start playing, you can't just start blowing in air. You gotta have the right mouth to do it. So imagine, in, imagine you're sucking in a milkshake. Imagine you're sucking in a milkshake and it gets really cold, or you're, t you're eating a lemon and so sour that you pucker your lips like this, that's how you have to play your instrument. So, see? Okay, now we get to the fun part. You get to learn the notes. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down my instrument and I'm going to show you what each of the notes on here looks like on a staff and how to play them on your instrument. Now, 
for the first note, it's the lowest note that you can play with your upper joint, but not the lowest note on the clarinet. It is known as a C. As you can tell right here, you've got five lines and four spaces, but the C is a line under to the sixth line, where you'll have your C perfectly in the middle. Next, Next, if mom calls me. Next, you have a D, which is directly under that uh, fifth line. Then you go to the E, which is on the fifth line. The F right in the middle between the uh, on the first space. A G on the second line, or technically these are first lines. Sorry, and then an A in the second space. These are all easy notes and can be easily played with proper uh, technique. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to play. To start off, I'm going to teach you with the A first because it's the highest note that you can play with this part, your upper joint. Okay, to play an A, it's simple. Don't have to worry about it. That key I was talking about, that front key right here, all you have to do is pucker your lips, press that down, and you have yourself an A. Simple, right? Remember, that's two spaces above the staff. Two spaces on the staff, sorry. Next, you have a G. Easy note, don't hold anything down. Keep your hands open. If you want, you can hold down your right hand, but you don't have to. second line. Now we're going to go to the F, which that back key right here, that's the only thing you're going to press down. And you're going to press it down with your left thumb right here. And don't mind that squeak, by the way. That was a little mishap. That's always going to happen. Next, which remember that was first space. Next, you're going to go down to the E, which is the first line. And you're going to continue to keep that thumb, but you're going to add your first finger on the right here. Cool, huh? Then you got the D, that space right below the first line. Pretty cool. And lastly, the note I'm going to show you today, the last one, is that line right below the staff with C. This is one of my favorite notes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, one quick note. If you ever want to start actually uh, playing the same note or doing it over and over again, I recommend that you do. See? Something like that. The more you do that, the bet easier it gets to uh, to uh, to move your fingers, and the easier it'll come to play. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please give this a like, so that way I can make more clarinet videos, and possibly I can make even more songs. I can start teaching songs. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Once again, please leave a like. Bye.